persona where I'm the world's most feminist pimp, so instead of saying fuck bitches get money, we say yeah bitches get money, because I feel like that's a very empowering spin on that phrase, you know, you know, we encourage them to start a career and they only do drive-bys at places with wage gaps. Um, speaking of women, they're, they're alright. Um, uh, I don't like women enough to Will Smith anyone over them, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, look, I know that's old news now, but honestly, I don't see why men keep doing shit like this. I saw the most ridiculous defenses over what Will Smith did, saying that he protected his wife's honor and that he was championing his woman. Jesus, yeah, it was such a chivalrous thing that he did at the Oscars. Christ. Honestly, I believe that women should champion themselves, mainly because I'm a feminist, but also more importantly because I'm a coward. I <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to win any fight that I'm in. Look at me. I'm 5'7", 120 soaking wet, and I look like I'm two children in a trench coat. <laughs> like, what the fuck can I do? I can't win fights. I'm so weak. I'm not fucking kidding. I gave myself an ulcer going down on someone. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was caused by what my best friend described as an overzealous tongue movement. <laughs> um, but I followed through with it because that's a valuable service to the community that not enough men do. That's what championing your woman looks like. Um, so I almost went to court, unrelated. Um, and um, it's, for, yeah, if you haven't guessed by the bitch ass cracker vibes that I give off, um, it wasn't for anything cool. It, I was on the prosecuting end uh, for this guy who I worked for that re was refusing to pay me. Was it over a lot of money? Absolutely not, sir. How much do you think I was suing this guy over? $15. Oh, uh, honestly, you know what? Not too far off. It was actually 80. Um, that's how fucking petty I am, that I'm willing to go to court over 80 fucking pounds. Jesus Christ. He didn't go to court. He ended up paying me before it happened. But I got so bitter by the end that I vowed to spend that money on the least useful thing I could think of. At, I don't remember what it was, but at best it went towards weed, and at worst it went towards crypto. <laughs> Um, so, uh, let's see, my dad is an Oxford graduate, um, who also writes for The Economist as a language columnist, I wouldn't be proud of me either, um, and in an article he wrote about raising my younger brother bilingual, uh, my brother is half Danish, he describes how he speaks Danish to his mother, my stepmother, English to him, and then when it describes me, the sentence is, is the exact quote, he speaks English to Jack, who is the offspring of a previous relationship. <laughs> uh, so I don't know about you, but that's just about the worst fucking way you can describe your son. I honestly, I just, I, when I came to him, about, I mean, at that point, you might as well just call me your 20s mistake and save words. When I came to him about it, I wasn't even upset. I was just curious as to why he would say that about me. And his defense was that that was what his editor put in, and he described me as his child to a different mother. That's fucking worse! Not even for me, for him, it just makes him sound like a fucking puss hound. I, mean, I think that's just his subtle way of telling people that he pulls. Uh, I'm not sure about it yet. Uh, let's see, I mean, it's, um, it's fine, he'll be dead soon, it's cool. Uh, I'm, I'm kidding, I, lo I love my dad, I love my mother, I love my stepmom, I love all of my parents. They, are, they have supported me my whole life. But like, also, if they could get out of here by 90, that would be great. Um, it's, it's, like, it's not that I don't love them, it's just that uh, I've got an autobiography I'd like to write, and that's super awkward while your parents are still alive. Um, I also don't want to put them in the home, I don't have the time and energy for that, nor the money. I, I almost went to court over 80 pounds for fuck's sake. Um, I think there should be a set window for when your parents die. Anything befo before 65 is tragic, honestly, and anything after 85 is frustrating. <laughs> um, oh yeah, last thing about that court case. If it had gone to court, he was allowed to pick the courthouse for some reason, and for some reason, he chose a courthouse that, I shit you not, had a 1.6 star average on Google reviews. 
which I was concerned about at first. I thought they were going to fuck up my case, but then I realized, you know what? If you're taking the time to give a courthouse a one-star review, you're probably guilty anyway. Why should I trust your opinion? I bet a lot of jails have bad reviews as well, you know? They kept me there for 20 years against my will. It was bullshit. But you know, the food was good, so two stars. Thank you very much. I'm Jack Henry Gray.